So after my first video on fixing the plugged in not charging battery issue, I didn't expect so many of you to comment, ask questions and share your own experiences. Some of you fixed it instantly and I'm so happy to hear that. But a few others, you're still stuck at 0% and frustrated. Well, let's fix that today. For good. And yes, this one includes some new fixes, real viewer issues, and a few final things to try before you give up. Let's jump right into it. Before we begin, just so you know, I'm not currently facing any battery issues on my laptop. So in this video, I won't be applying the fixes directly. Instead, I'll demonstrate each step and guide you through exactly how to do it safely on your own system. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't watched part one yet, check the link in the description or the eye on screen now. It covers the four most effective fixes that worked for me and many others. Some users mentioned that uninstalling the battery driver worked at first, but after a few days, the issue came back. That usually means Windows is quietly reinstalling the same buggy driver in the background. Here's what you can do. Open Device Manager and expand the Batteries section. Right-click on Microsoft Ace PA Compliant Control Method Battery and select Uninstall Device. Don't worry, Windows will reinstall it automatically after you restart your laptop. This step gives your system a fresh start with that driver and often helps stabilize the charging issue. Now open the Start menu and type Device Installation Settings, then open it. You'll see a prompt that says, do you want to automatically download manufacturer's apps available for your devices? If you want Windows to keep installing OEM software and power tools automatically, select Yes. But if you'd rather control what gets installed and avoid driver conflicts, choose No. Click Save Changes and then restart your laptop. If you're seeing strange errors like 0x10d2, the library, drive or media pool is empty. Don't worry, this isn't a direct battery issue, but it can sometimes confuse Windows power related tools. Try this, open the start menu and search for disk cleanup. Select your system drive and then clear out temporary files, logs and old restore points. You can also go to this folder, C colon Windows, colon software distribution, colon download. and delete its contents. These are leftover update files and won't harm your system. This cleanup helps clear out corrupted data that might interfere with power diagnostics. If your laptop says adapter unknown or it's not detecting the battery at all, this usually means there's a communication problem between the charger and the system. Start by making sure you're using a genuine charger that's designed for your laptop model. Third-party chargers can cause all sorts of weird issues. If that's all good, the next step is to update your BIOS. A buggy or outdated BIOS can prevent the battery from being detected properly. To do that, head over to your laptop brand's official support website for Dell, HP, Lenovo, Acer. Each one has a dedicated page for drivers and BIOS updates. Just search for your model, download the latest BIOS, 
and follow the instructions carefully. A BIOS update can often solve detection problems instantly. This next method is called a power reset or sometimes an embedded controller reset. It's a simple but powerful trick that can fix charging problems caused by stuck firmware or leftover static electricity. If your laptop has a removable battery, shut it down completely and unplug the charger. Take out the battery, then press and hold the power button for about 20 seconds. This drains any residual power. After that, put the battery back in, plug in the charger, and turn the laptop on. If you have a non-removable battery, shut down the laptop and unplug it. Then just press and hold the power button for 30 seconds without doing anything else. This does the same type of reset internally. Some laptops also come with a tiny reset pinhole, usually found on the bottom or near a side vent. You can use a paper clip to gently press inside that pinhole for about 10 seconds. This sends a reset signal directly to the embedded controller and often helps fix battery detection issues. After doing this, power on your laptop and check if the battery starts charging again. In many cases, this one simple step does the trick. If your battery still isn't charging after all these steps, don't give up just yet. Here are a few final things you can try. First, try using another compatible charger, even if your current one looks fine. Sometimes it's a voltage issue that isn't obvious right away. Next, go back to your laptop brand's support site and double check if there's a new BIOS or firmware update you might have missed. A fresh update can sometimes fix stubborn charging problems. And if nothing else works, it's worth visiting a technician. Ask them to check the internal battery cable. In some cases, it may just need to be reseated. Be clear that you're not looking to replace the battery unless it's absolutely necessary. This helps avoid being upsold on a part you may not need. But before we end, here are some quick battery care tips to help you avoid this issue in the future. Try to keep your battery between 20 and 80% most of the time. Avoid using your laptop in high heat while charging. Always use a genuine charger and make it a habit to check for firmware updates at least once a month. They often include fixes for charging and power management. Taking these steps can really extend the life of your battery and prevent problems like this from coming back. These are all the fixes and tips I've gathered through experience, your comments, and plenty of testing. If this video helped you out, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Tech2AI. And I'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment below and let me know which fix worked for you. See you in the next one.